your first time here thank you so much for stopping by on this channel i do like to bring you videos at least every monday wednesday and friday usually hair related so if that's something you're interested in please be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you're notified when i upload a video so i also wanted to mention that you know youtube has this new feature where we're able to create timestamps of certain things that are happening within this video so that you are not obligated to watch the entire video maybe you just want to get to the styling of the video maybe you want to bypass the styling of the video and hear my thoughts maybe you want to get to the price of the wig so just pay attention to the timestamps that are included in this video in case there is a specific area you prefer to watch. So today I'm going to be reviewing a You Nice wig and it is a highlighted ombre 13x4 Brazilian Remy lace front wig. She comes pre-plucked with 150% density at 12 inches long. Now, big shout out to Unice for sending me this wig. I truly appreciate it. I believe this is now my third Unice wig that I have reviewed here on my channel and I always seem to love them. So let's go ahead and dive right into the styling and review of this wig. All right, so here's the unboxing of this wig. This is how it came packaged and it comes with a wig cap and an elastic band to add. All right, so this is what the hair looks like straight out of the package along with the hairline and parting space. Now I always wash my human hair unit so I have already washed, deep conditioned and plucked this unit as well as blow dried and flat iron and this is what it looks like now. So to melt my lace I'm going to be using a new got to be high insta hold spray that i've never used before and i actually got this from xoxo sheba's channel i saw her using it and so when i went to the store and saw it i was like well, let me try this now i'm not really convinced yet that it's better than the other got to be glued free spray just yet um, i'm gonna have to use it a few more times to make that determination i felt like i had to like double spray with this one um whereas with the yellow can i don't have to do that so i'm not really sure yet i'll keep trying this unit I'm gonna go ahead into my final thoughts on her so for some of the pros of course this highlighted ombre color I absolutely love this color blend like it is very nicely highlighted very nice and I have reviewed a few units with these like blonde streaks of highlights and you know it has like this brown color so the color is actually t4 slash 12 not really sure what that 12 is but basically ombre blonde <laughs> on brown hair <sighs> so I'll take a little pause because the ice cream truck is rolling on by come on here so, like I said, I absolutely love this color. I'm a little hot right now, y'all. <laughs> I feel like I was hot in my last video, but whew. Just gotta cool off, honey. Just 
gonna cool off for a second. I hope I'm not going through the change, y'all. Like I'm not even 40 yet. Like we, I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Whew. All right, I was having a little personal summer for a second. And I'm back. <laughs> All right, so another thing I like is this 12 inch length. I feel like this is the perfect length. It's so comfortable. It's so easy, breezy, flowy, just like it's not all in the way. Just perfect length, y'all. Like, I love this length. Perfect, perfect vibe. Now, as I mentioned before, it is a 13 by 4 lace, which means 13 inches by 4 inches of parting space here in the front. Now, because the middle part was kind of already pre-parted and pre-plucked, I did have to go in and pluck this right side part because it was not pre-plucked in this area and it was a little tight so you know I know everybody don't like to pluck pluck but yeah it was a little tight you might have to pluck a little bit or just put a ton of foundation powder in the parting space and you may be okay now as I mentioned before I have reviewed several of these ombre highlighted type of units um, so I'll be sure to include a playlist of some other units that have like the blonde color, either, either whether it's all blonde or blonde or ombre blonde, highlighted blonde, some type of blonde. I'll include that playlist down in the description box below, as well as a playlist for bobs, because I know a lot of people will just specifically look for bobs. So that playlist will be provided in the description box below as well. All right. So of course, because this is a straight human hair unit there should not be any tangling so there is not any tangling if you have a lot of tangling in a human hair unit that's straight and a bob like something's wrong with those hair fibers like that should not be happening so there is no tangling however there is a lot of shedding and it could be a combination of things it could be because of these blonde highlights um, of course, I went in and plucked it some more around the hairline as well as in the parting space. So it could be my fault as well. But there is quite a bit of shedding with this unit. Now, as for the cap size, it's pretty spacious in here. I feel like it, it, it does come down ear to ear. I didn't have any problems um, getting her to lay. She didn't feel like super tight. I feel like the cap back here is stretchy. So I'll be comfortable in saying that it's actually all hair friendly. So no issue there. Now, as for the price, this unit can be found on Amazon, my very, very favorite place to shop. And she retails at a whopping $104.20. That is a deal for a human hair unit that already comes with blonde highlights, that already comes pre-plucked, that I believe also comes pre-bleached because I did not bleach the knots whatsoever. And I felt like it blends so well like the knots are not that easily detectable so I really think that they pre-bleached the knots they just didn't advertise that so I think with all all that you get with this unit a hundred dollars very well worth it for a nice human hair 12 inch bob cannot beat it Brazilian Remy now I'm gonna go back to the style because I think when I reviewed this type of wig before I left it in a straight bob and I almost regretted it. Like, I just feel like I should just throw some curls up in here. Like, it's just too, you know, I mean, it's cute. No, it's cute. But <laughs> I feel like I need to jazz it up just a little bit. So I'm not sure as of this particular moment, but I'll probably add some more footage of me curling this unit. All right, y'all, so that's really all that I have for this human hair unit. I would love to know what you think about her down in the comments below. So let's go ahead and chat about her. Let me know what you think about her. Would you wear her straight or would you actually go in and throw some curls up in her, which you might see. <laughs> Let me know how you feel about this ombre highlighted human hair unit. I thank you all so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate you as always. Please be sure to thumbs up this video. Hit that subscribe button if you have not. And I will catch you all in the next video. Bye, y'all.
Thank you.